Hi and welcome to the coding module channel and today we will write a BBA code to transfer data from one worksheet to another and I have here my Excel file you can download it from my website I will paste the link in the description of the video let's start by opening our BBA editor you can press alt tab 11 or in developer tab you can click this visual basic button and from here uh, let's start by creating our module I always recommend using a module instead of writing your code in the sheets or this workbook object so now let's name our module I will name this transfer data and I will create a subroutine I will also name this transfer data so if I go back to my Excel, I have two worksheets here, the form and then the record. So what I'm going to do is to declare a variable that will represent my form and record sheet. So let's go back to BBA and then I will name the first variable FSH or form sheet. Should be a worksheet. <laughs> so that will be my form and my rsh or rsh will be my record worksheet so set the worksheet is the next step here and rsh So this is just simply saying to BBA that FSH is my form worksheet and RSH is my record worksheets. Alright, so next step here is we need to know uh, what is the next available row in the record worksheet. So to do that, let's go back to BBA. I will declare a variable or get the next available row in record sheet so I will declare a variable I will name it next row it should be of integer type and to get the next available row we need to identify first the worksheet in this case that is the record sheet and I will be using my RSH variable and then your reference column I will be using column A and then rows that count, that end, that Excel up, that row. And we will add one because what this line will do is to um, to get the last row with value in my column A. So if I have my last data here, it will return 6 because that is the, the row number. So, if we want to get the next available row, then we have to add 1 to it. That's why I have here plus 1. So, now that we know what is the next available row is, we can start copying the data from the form worksheet to the record worksheet. So, our column A will contain B2, and then the column B will be B3, column C will be for B4 and so on. So to do that in BBA, we'll just say RSH that range uh, A, that's our column A, and then we will concatenate the next available row so that our code will be flexible and we'll say that value is equals to FSH, the form worksheet, that range B2, that, that value. So we'll just copy that and, and modify for the other column. So next is the column B. C, D, and E. Yep, until E. And here it should be 3, 4, 5, and 6. Alright, so this line of code will simply copy the data from our form worksheet to the next available row on our record worksheet so i will also add the message box to end to to know or for us to know if 
if it's successful or not so i will just say the data copied or data transferred and it should be an information message box and i will just put data transfer to the message box title now let's go back to excel and in the form sheet let's assign macro to our shape button so make sure to select this workbook so you can only see your your subroutine so i will select this and hit ok so now if i click this i receive a message box indicating that the the copy is successful so if we hit ok and check yep we have now the data copied to the record worksheet if i try again and again then you can see here that the data is copied so what we want to happen as well is that every time we click submit and after the data has been transferred to another worksheet we should delete this value so to do that quickly what i'm going to do is to name the range of b2 to b6 so select that first and then here on the name box we will name that uh, clear value so what will happen is that every time i select that uh, name or range name it will automatically select that range from b2 to b6 now going back to the code so here we will add uh, the code to delete the form values so we will say fsh because the range is in the form sheet the range clear value did i name that clear value yeah clear value and then that clear so now if we go back to excel and hit submit now it, the, the data was transferred and it's also cleared in here all right so if you don't want the the border to get deleted as well instead of using that clear we should use that clear contents so it will not include the formatting or the colors if you have it will just remove the value so let's try it uh, new name uh, new name at email.com so age will be 25 and the gender is male so now let's click submit and now it's also transferred let's check so it's now a new name and you can see here that the value has been removed and the formatting is still in there. Alright, so that is just a basic uh, way of transferring data from one worksheet to another. Thanks guys for watching and if you have any question, just uh, put that in the description of the video. See you on the next one for BBA coding.